everyone, how are you guys doing? So, I just got off work and I'm already kind of in my pajamas ready for bed and it's not even 6.30. <laughs> so tired, this week has been, ah, uh, thank God it's Friday tomorrow. Um, and so that's what brings me to what I want to talk about today on this video. Um, I am doing something for my eight-year-old son. He has been, um, asking forever to have his three neighbors, um, over, uh, that live next door to our house that my husband has, um, just two streets over from me in my apartment. And, um, my son is still best friends with our neighbors and, um, actually both my boys are still friends with their neighbors. And so that's why I picked my apartment that I'm in is so my kids did not have to leave the neighborhood. And, um, my husband refused to give me the house and I knew there was no way I was ever going to be able to afford that house on my own. However, uh, I am paying as much as my ex-husband is on mortgage, except for he pays $8 more than me. Eight. And he's got this big house. And I got this crappy apartment. Two bedroom. And so, yeah, it sucks. But, you know, my husband filed for the divorce. And uh, I just wanted it to be done and over with. But my um, ex-husband, he has filed a motion to modify. It's just false. It's just false stuff. Um, and it's because of lack of communication. My husband has no idea what he's doing and what he's talking about. But um, the thing is, is that um, I'm just kind of happy about it because my son is... Um, He's just so happy that I am able to live so close to his dad, live um, in the school district, and live in um, around his friends and his neighbors, and that, you know, I am working right here two streets over from our house, and living two streets over from our house, and so he gets to hang out with all of his friends from school, and in the neighborhood and um you know his father has also told him he's not allowed to play with his friends um over there he has had one friend that he gets to have over but if his dad knew some of the things that i know he probably wouldn't be letting him hang out with him either and so um i keep my mouth shut Unless he sees this video, I guess. But, um, I keep my mouth shut. And, um, you know, he'll find out soon enough, right? Um, so, I am offering to have all three of the boys over, um, in the neighborhood over here tomorrow night. And I'm super excited. And in my son's eyes, I'm a good mom. I'm a great mom, actually. He's super excited. He's got Christmas gifts for his friends, and we're ordering pizza, and I'm just going to let them play. Um, my son has his own room. It's huge now, and he um, is just excited to be able to have his friends over. And so tonight, I'm cleaning house, and um, it's the things that you do for your kids, right, as a single mom. And I... It sort of made me think, what is it as a single mom that I'm going to be doing this Christmas um, to celebrate the holidays? And the number one thing I want to do is help serve someone else and teach my kids about that. And I also want to talk about the love of Jesus um, with my kids and just spend quality time. Those are the three things I really would like to do with my kids this um, Christmas. Because my ex-husband has filed this motion against me, attorney fees are being paid, and um, legal battles this Christmas is going to be very, very tiny for me and my boys. But with that said, my boys have everything they could ever want, plus things that they really don't want and I need to clean out and go through. But um, they have everything they want, and... Uh, 
that is one thing that um, I have done this year. Um, the first year of me being a single mom. Uh, the only thing I need to do now that my kids want is a house back with a yard back close to the neighbors again back and a dog <laughs> in the fenced yard. Those are the things that I'm going to be striving for in the next five years. Those are my goals. Um, and I am uh, getting there already. And it's only been one year. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited, very happy with, um, you know, being forced into this situation of being a single mom. Um, you know, sometimes... People try to get you down and they try to um, say you're a bad parent. And um, without evidence that you are a bad parent, I mean, unless you really are a bad parent, um, you know, like what I've been told by... Uh, some legal <laughs> counsel uh, on different levels. I'm not talking about attorneys. I'm talking about up higher. Um, we, we as Christians are not bad parents because we're Christians. Um, and I think a lot of times if you're dealing with an ex-spouse who is a non-Christian, they think that oh, you're teaching your child about God. And so it's a, a bad thing. And I am here to tell you as a single mom, your kids will see the good in both parents, no matter who's saying, who said what or whatever, towards each other. Um, I've been divorced before. I know this is exactly how it works. You, as a single parent, need to do what you're going to do to raise your kids and how you're going to be a parent to that child. Um, and when that child grows up, that child's going to know your sincerity. That child's going to know where your heart is. That child's going to know um, on their own whether you're a good parent. And if that other parent does try to take you away from your child or... Um, talks constantly bad about you and how you're raising your kid or quizzing your quit kid or whatever, that child is going to know who is lying and who's not lying. And they're also going to know why you're divorced. Um, they're going to grow up and know these things. Um, I can tell you this. My um, My middle son... Um, he has gone through this and, um, now he can be honest with me. He's 14, he's old enough. And he says, well, I don't like this. And I already know, you know, um, and he knows the truth. And, um, you know, even when it comes to me and my parenting, my kids know, where my heart is and they know that I love them unconditionally and that I fight for them and that I do anything for them. I give them back all the things that made them happy as a child and I want them to stay children as long as they possibly can. And they tell me all the time, mom, you're the best mom ever. Mom, you are awesome. You are great because they have a lot of friends whose mothers are not the same. They are not the same. And um, my 14 year old actually told me not too long ago that, you know, mom, I'm so glad that you are Christian and that you love Jesus because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have known about Jesus. And, and he has accepted, um, Jesus in his life. Actually, all three of my boys have accepted Jesus in their life. So I know that I've planted the seed. It's been instilled in them and setting by example. I have um, really told my kids, you know, what is right and wrong. And, and I know that, you know, I've done what I can do with the time I have with my children and I, I'm striving to do better. I'm striving to do better. And, um, that doesn't make me a bad mom. It doesn't make me a bad mom. And so, you know, 
I think it's kind of laughable, actually, that um, my ex-husband, eight months after a settlement agreement, has already filed for a modification. And um, so we'll see how it turns out. But um, I'm telling you, I'm not worried about it. And God has got it. Um, I already know. I already know. Um, <laughs> actually, I... I'm not even worried about it. I know God's got it. Um, and um, I just, I just uh, want to say your children will know, um, you know, who is the better parent or, you know, um, they're going to know. Uh, when you get divorced, there's going to be that battle there's going to be the battle and you don't even have to talk bad about the other parent because, um, the kids are going to know. Um, I have friends, um, even my ex-husband, uh, who has grown up, um, as most of us have, you know, in divorced families. Um, I have my parents, they're married and when they get arguments, I know who, who started what, and I know who did what or whatever, you know, um, and I don't have to have my mom say all these bad things about my dad. I don't need my dad calling me saying all these bad things about my mom because I already know. I already know who started what. I know who said what. I already know, <laughs> you know, um, because I know their personality. I know who my parents are. And, you know, your kids will know. Your kids will know who you are, um, honestly, and who they are and um, who they are to you. And um, I think that's the main thing as a single parent. You need to focus on your kids. Focus on what, you know, you want to teach your kids and what kind of person you want them to grow up to be. And try to instill them as they're young. And then as they grow older, they will appreciate the work that you've done. If you have to work two or three jobs, if you have to make a lot of money um, on the side um, and you have to work extra hard, um, you know, your your kids will see that as they grow older. Um, I've been watching a lot of single mom videos and a lot of times when I'm scrolling through TikTok or Facebook or, or something and I'm talking and I'm looking at single mom stuff, even on YouTube here, uh, you'll get a man once in a while who's just like, I was raised by a single mom and I cannot express the gratitude and the love I have for my mother because she did a job of two. She did, she was the mom and the dad. You know, dad walked out and uh, this is how my life was with my mom and how hard she worked and what she had to do. And I know that my dad left her and, um, you know, a lot of times they're Christians and they know, even as Christians, that it was wrong. It was wrong for dad to leave and he still divorced her. And you don't have to um, do anything but stand up for your faith as a Christian, do what's right as a Christian, and be so grateful and in love with that gift of your children that God gave to you as a single mom. Embrace it. Embrace being a single mom. And, um, you know, this holiday season is going to be my, my actual real first holiday season um, without my kids. And then when I do have them for the holiday season, this is my first time I get to do what I want with my kids. And so I'm getting all clogged up again. I'm still sick, you guys. I've been trying to get rid of this cold. But um, I wanted to tell you real quick, you know, I get to do what I um, want to this holiday season. And I'm super excited. I got a new grandbaby this year for Christmas. The most precious gift of all. Uh, for this year, it's something that is just so precious to my heart. Um, I'm so excited to be able to share this with my children, their uncles now, and they're very excited to uh, 
have us together as a family this holiday season. And, um, you know, it's not going to ever be taken away from me. My time with my kids and, um, you know, I'm standing firm on my faith and nothing has changed um, within me except for I have grown stronger in my relationship with Christ now that he is my husband. I am depending on him for everything in my life um, and he has provided he has provided for me and my kids. Um, and I'm telling you, I have so many friends and so many family members and so many people here on YouTube that are just, um, you know, they're being very supportive. And um, I hope that my videos are encouraging to you. If you are struggling, if this is your first year as a single mom, the reason why I can be so happy is because I have the joy of the Lord in my heart and I don't put my faith in my husband. I never really did. And I think that is something I did put up a wall. I put up a wall there when um, my husband wasn't fulfilling my needs, when he wasn't honoring God, when he wasn't doing the things um, that we were equally showing that we were equally yoked. And, um, and, uh, when I saw those things begin to happen, I protected myself and my relationship because of our divorce has just grown stronger with Christ. Um, and like I told the lady at care group the other night, I have a husband, his name is Jesus Christ. It's not my husband anymore. Um, my ex-husband, he, you know, he filed for divorce. He doesn't want to be with me. He's got another girlfriend. That's good for him. Um, it's still wrong. It, it doesn't matter how, how you put it. Um, if you are a Christian and you are divorced, um, if your husband has filed for divorce against you, there's nothing you can do about it. Like my pastor said, um, you gotta let him go. You gotta let him go and let him, um, your ex-husband make his own decisions in his own life. Because that's what he wants to do. Um, and your husband is still Jesus. You haven't broke that marriage bond. And um, so, uh, you know, I'm still in love. I'm still in love. And it makes me happy. And so I want to encourage you guys tonight. Um, I did not make a video this morning. So I thought, oh, I better get on there after work. Before I start really cleaning the house and make my dinner. And make this video for you guys. Um, and I'll have to make a video tomorrow night and let you guys know how the little sleepover goes with the neighbors, but, um, I'm sure I'll have a moment to myself with the kids playing upstairs and I can maybe make a video, but, um, single mom life, it's great. I do enjoy it and I just hope you guys have a great weekend this weekend. God bless. Talk to you later. Bye.